Hello friends, it's been a while. As a matter of fact, it's been so long, I just filmed like 50 video clips vertical-wise instead of horizontal. I can't use any of those. Anyway, it has been like four or five or six months, so I thought I'd catch up with you and share some stuff I've been into or up to and some favorite things and share that I somehow got mascara on my shirt. I never wear mascara, but anyway, my eyes are up here, so I don't know how that happened. Speaking of my eyeballs, I am very excited. I got new glasses, or rather new lenses. These are the same frames. It was about two and a half years ago where I had sat down in the morning to read a book, and I realized that the words weren't wording. I could not see them. And uh, ever since then, I have been reading uh, on my tablet uh, digital copies of books. Let me show you, since first in two years, an actual proper book that I'm reading. It's the one I was trying to read that morning. Gideon the Ninth. I am super excited to read this book about lesbian necromancers in space. So on the way back from the eye doctor, we stopped by the Korean grocery and but I'll show you what we got. We got some Korean radish, which I thought was two for one, but now I don't know where the second one is. We got some roasted sesame dressing, which I think Elon threw in the cart. And other than salads, I'm not sure what to use this for. So if you can you use this, let me know in the comments. We stocked up on soy sauce and rice vinegar. I have been making a lot of pickles lately. Miso soup, we eat, or miso rather, we eat miso soup just about every day. This is another thing Yvonne threw in the cart. Maybe this is for, I don't know, soba noodles. Gochujang, which we eat a lot of. And then the fun stuff. And the other stuff I think I must have put in the refrigerator. Yes, we got some of these guys. And then we got some enoki mushrooms, which I just throw in the miso soup. Actually, I throw a lot of stuff in miso soup. So thing number one that I'm excited about, about vintage Asta cookware. And I had seen maybe a smaller version of this one, TikTok. There is a an account run by the thrift witch who does like fancy fruit fruit coffee drinks and i noticed that she makes her syrups in this really cute little vintage looking floral saucepan um and i found it it's asta cookware so there was a little bit of grief shopping oh yeah my father died a few weeks ago so this one we're talking about dead relatives you should probably see my face and not my my stove top but yeah, I hadn't spoken with my father in 20 years and I was actually thinking of reaching out and trying to patch up our relationship, but I waited too long, which sucks. And I don't know how I feel about that, but another thing I'm excited about is I just started seeing a therapist and I really like her. So that should be helpful. Okay, here's something I will not recommend. I did some more grief shopping when I saw that Bath and Body Works had their, their Halloween stuff available. And I don't love this. It smells just like very generic, dusty pumpkin potpourri. But I paid eight bucks for it and I'm using it out of spite. Over the last year, I have been making a cake every month. Actually, I've done this a couple years in a row. But this year is a little different because all of the cakes that's making are from snacking cakes and I haven't had a bad one yet although I have liked some of them more than others here we go my favorite is the powdered donut cake and I think this is everyone's favorite as a matter of fact I made this cake before I even bought the book it's what sold me on it and I've got some new paintings to hang on the wall these are actually done by Yvonne's mother, she paints for a hobby and these are scenes either from her, these are Icelandic scenes and these are either from memory or from her imagination. 
And since we're in here, I'm very proud of myself. I reorganized the pantry. It might not be like tick tockable organized. Well, I haven't got all the matchy matchy uh, vessels to store things in. But for me, who honestly does not give a fart about organization, this is pretty good. And just so you know, we are not actually a household that keeps Nutella in the pantry. One of the uh, recipes in that cookbook called for it. I will say we are going to be a household that always carries cheddar cheese powder in the pantry. If you recall, I ordered that in um, my last video I did with the Amazon stuff. This, the cheddar cheese powder, and then let me show you what I pair it with to put on top of popcorn. The cheddar cheese powder plus this uh, Trader Joe's pickles seasoning on popcorn. That is friggin' amazing. Highly recommend. Well, back through the living room to share a favorite thing. I had wanted to get a rug for this room and I was thinking like a dark moody floral or something and Yvonne suggested a colorful jute rug and I was like, oh, I don't know about that. And you know what? It really works. I love it. Favorite thing, number whatever. I got a new quilt. This is also from Etsy, like the rug was. They're from two separate shops and I'll link to them both. I don't remember. I think this one was from a shop called Needle Eye India but I'll, uh, I'll find the link and share it in the, in the description box. As an old person, I get excited about really mundane things now, but I love that this quilt is reversible. Okay, so no one asked me about my skincare routine, but I'm always curious about what everybody else does. So maybe you're curious about what I do to my face. I use a lot of products from this Korean brand. This is their cleansing foam. I also have their calming toner, their moisture mist, as well as their calming serum. I have a lot of redness and inflammation, so a lot of the products I use are for, for that. I did recently purchase their eye cream, which comes in a really fancy box. And this is what it looks like. I haven't used it yet because I'm using up something else. And I think I am going to use this box to send a perfume sample to a very patient friend. I am still not wearing a lot of makeup, but I have been tempted lately by some cute lipsticks from these C Beauty brands. These are two different brands, although they look very similar. And what they are, are these kind of clicky pins. So you got the clicker down here, and then it's a glossy sort of color. This is a body butter from Coco Pink. This is Marshmallow cake on Mondays. And if you like vanilla and marshmallows and sweet scents, which as I'm getting older, I actually do like sweeter scents. Not as much as I like other things, but I am very, uh, very into this. And let me show you a perfume that it goes really well with. Okay, so, and there it is right there at the bottom. This is also from Coco Pink. This is ivory eyelet. It's sort of a lemon meringue pie kind of scent and it just goes really well with the marshmallow cake on Mondays. I have been trying really hard this year to limit myself to just samples and I have gotten a few full bottles of things. Our estate carnation from Solstice Scents and this smells like both the lady in the nightdress running away from the castle with a lone candle in its window and the secret succubus sneaking up on her. And then the other one I got is Park of the Monsters from Enfieri. 
Now, I fell in love with the sample as soon as I smelled it and I bought a full bottle immediately. No, I didn't because she was sold out, but she alerted me when she had more. And then I bought a full bottle, but I haven't worn it in months and I can't remember what I said about it. So we're going to look that up. And okay, the fact that I haven't worn it in months, that's no reflection on the perfume. It's just I test and sample so many scents. I'm not often wearing my full bottles, which is sad because I keep buying them. So this is inspired by the Italian gardens of Bomarzo, and it smells of animalic musks and peppery emerald spice and the incense of sacred trees, along with some hypnotizingly intense florals. So one thing that's different in my office uh, from the last time that I filmed a video is I finally got this wall by the bookcase just the way I want it. And then I found these really cute little minty colored teardrop lights on Etsy, and I will link to them in the description box. And there is a hummingbird that is so cool that I caught that on camera, just as I'm about to show you what arrived in the mail today. I previously unboxed these earlier in the day when I was filming vertically and it didn't occur to me I was doing it wrong. So, oh well, it's open now. These are copies of the book that I will sign and I will sell on my website, although not for another few weeks because the official release date is not until sometime in September, September 12th, I think. But can I say it is very cool to see three of the books that you wrote on the shelf next to each other, along with a Japanese edition of one of those books. So how do you know which of these books is for you? Well, let me tell you. So if you uh, enjoy mystical esoteric art, then the art of the occult is for you. If you are uh, really all about morbid and melancholic, moody pieces of art. You will find what you're looking for in the art of darkness. And if you dig all that is fantastical and impossible and unreal, I think you will love the art of fantasy. But you know what? Trying to sell the stuff you made is weird and awkward, and I hate doing it. So instead, let me talk about some of the stuff that other people have made. So earlier this year, my friend Cody wrote a book of Golden Girls poetry, and that is going to be phenomenal. And now that I have the correct prescription, I can read it. Sadie Hartman, that is Mother Horror over on Instagram and Twitter and so on just published 101 horror books to read before you're murdered, and I'm very excited for that. And then lastly is Adam Rose, Worlds Beyond Time, sci-fi art of the 1970s, and this is going to be fantastic. And I can't not mention this because I spend so much time knitting. This is a sock I am currently working on. And this is by a designer called uh, A Bee in the Bonnet. Her name is Lauren Rad. And I think every sock that I knit this year was her pattern. Let's go see them. So over here in the baby birthing chair, I have a basket of socks that I have finished. And these are all gorgeous patterns by Lauren Rad. Oh my God, look at this flamingo color. This is from Astral Bath Yarns. So my phone died and it is the next day and I just wanted to wrap up the video a bit before I signed off and said goodbye. Today I am wearing some very special things that I got in honor of my book. They're sort of fantasy inspired pieces. So this is a dress from Brett Manning who is an artist who is featured in my book. My cardigan is covered in little forest bugs. And that's from We Crowing Hens.
And to complete the look, I will pair it with this necklace I recently got from Parish Relics. I've wanted a piece from her for so long and I always miss the updates. And it is hanging out of a little imp that I got from Roses and Rue Antiques. Oh, as you can see, this is a little bit tight in the bust. But that brings me to maybe the next and the last thing that I wanted to share because it is a little personal. So I can remember as a kid, even as a young adult, I'll confess, going to visit my grandmother and seeing her brassiers hanging out to dry and giggling because <laughs> they were friggin' enormous. My grandmother, uh, who died a few years back, was a very large-bosomed woman. As a middle-aged woman, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, oh dear, I see what's happening here. But I have found a very good bra. So let us look in the underwear drawer. Now I know these are a little colorful. Now if you are not someone who likes to wear a bra, if you like throw your bra off at the end of the day, you're not gonna like this. This is gonna make you feel like you're having a heart attack. I love them. They're from a company called NYX. They squish my bits and they make me not so bulky. And that just makes me feel a little bit better in general. I'm also wearing one right now, I'll show you. So I'm not gonna show you like that, but see, isn't that a good color? I like that. So as it happens more and more frequently on my little space here on YouTube, this is really rambly and all over the place and there's no rhyme or reason to anything I'm talking about. And the reason for that is because if I have to think about it ahead of time, I will overthink about it and it will never happen. And my little channel here will remain derelict and abandoned and lonely. So I promise I will make these more consistently. It, and look, I know you're not asking me to promise anything, but I have to make these, these arbitrary goals for myself, or again, things will never happen. So if I think that I've promised you something, then I will do it. So I know this has been a lot of behold my stuff and, oh, hey, my dad died. And look, see what's in my refrigerator. And I can't promise that there's not gonna be more of that in the future. But I can tell you that if you stopped by for a visit, that's exactly what you'd get. And there's nothing wrong with being authentic, right? So until the next time we have a moment to sit together and chat, till later, weirdos.